Uh, olá, o meu nome é Joaquim, tenho 22 anos e estudo na Universidade Pavel Josef Shafarik em Kostice. Uh, hello, my name is Joaquim, I am 22 years old and I study in the University Pavel Josef Shafarik in Kostice. I decided to come to study to Kostice mainly because I was looking for some place to develop medicine in English, most of all because I um, always wanted to go study, go work abroad and I thought coming here to Kosice would be a very nice idea. And I was right because here I, I found a lot of um, multicultural students from everywhere in the world who have become very good friends and I'm really happy for that. So I think I made a very good decision, although in the beginning I must admit that it was difficult, it was not easy, but after some years it it got better and better and now I'm really really happy where I am. I was really impressed uh, here of uh, the quality of teaching in, in terms of technical equipment. For instance, here in the first years I had uh, availability to, to work with uh, microscopes with cadavers in anatomy. This was a really, uh, with a really, was a really important thing for the, for the study of anatomy for me. And after that, the um, interaction with patients was really, uh, really fruitful for me because it was, I think the connection between the medical faculty and the hospital is very well made and it's very easy for a student to reach a doctor and go observe patients with him. But I think that the main obstacle in this would be the, um, the language barrier. Uh, if you're starting here, it's very important for a new student, it's very important to start learning the language as early as possible because this will be a very, very good skill later on. And because as, as, it's, as, it's, as you know, the patients are uh, Slovak and they mostly speak Slovak language, so it will be very important for you to, to develop this skill as early as possible. One thing that I, that I really uh, think it's an advantage of studying in Kosice is the um, attention that most teachers give to your learning. What, what do I mean with this? I mean that you feel that most teachers are really attentious to your development as a student and they really uh, motivate you to study more and to have good results in the tests. I have really countless examples of situations like this and with this motivation I, I, I felt that I could have good grades and know that I was uh, learning what I should, I was having a proper education which I still think I ha I'm having and until the end I think when I finish here I will become a good doctor and this is all I wanted before I came here. So. I think my objective is being, being accomplished. Since I've started here, I really grew up as a person. When I came here, I think I was very immature in how I experienced the world, but living abroad has taught me a lot of things, a lot of skills that I think will be very useful for my future. And I think of going, work, going to work abroad and having the skills that I gained here the autonomy, the responsibility that I've earned here will, will help me a lot in my future. So I'm really grateful for what I've uh, learned here. Kosice has a very, very nice um, city center, which in my opinion has a very nice advantage, which is not having any, any uh, cars. The, the, the road is only for pedestrians, which makes it, I don't know, more uh, pleasant to walk there and the cathedral is very very beautiful the the bars the, um, the fountains especially in the winter when it's snowy everywhere besides actually here was the first time that I watched snow and it was a wonderful experience I will never never forget it besides that uh, Kosice has an uh, ice stadium has a zoo that you can visit has for instance a bo botanical garden and it's nice like there's always things you can do in Kosice but you're always concentrated on your studying, which for me, I know, I know this might, might sound a bit nerdy, but 
I think Kwashice is a very, very good town for students because it's a big, small town. You have everything near you and you also don't get too distracted in order that you still get very concentrated in your studying. And for me, I think this was a good, a very great advantage of studying here in Kwashice. I have to say, I really, really enjoy uh, a traditional Slovak dish, halushki. My brother came to visit me some weeks ago and I introduced him to this dish and he was addicted at first. I don't, I don't know why, but I, I really like it. And there are other, other things that I really enjoy about, about the Slovak culture. I don't know, it's a very, it's a very, I would say, to be honest, I would say maybe the Slovak people are can appear slightly cold from the outside, but once you get to know, once you get to be friends with Slovak people, like I did with many, many good friends that I have, you really understand that they are very warm people. And I felt, I felt many times at very comfortable here. I felt like I had a family, and this made me feel like this was the right place. One very nice experience that I had was while visiting the High Tatras, or in Slovak, Visoke Tatri. I went to a place where you can go trekking, you can go skiing, although I still don't know how to ski, but it's really... It's really... Um, the nature in Slovakia, it's really beautiful, and you can travel here and there, and you will always find new things to discover. For instance, you can go to many caves. Slovakia has I don't know, almost 400 caves, some of them ice caves, which are tremendously beautiful. I recommend you to, to go and visit this and other places that you can go. And not only that, Slovakia, in my opinion, is very, um, very open to, I wouldn't say open, but it's close to other countries, very, a lot of other countries, and you can easily visit also these countries if you're bored of Slovakia, but I grant you that probably this won't happen. If there's something that I miss in Slovakia, besides my family, would be, um, I would say, the sea, but you can't do anything about it here, but, and maybe seafood, but besides that, Slovakia has things to make up for those misses. Other, I mean, you, you, you can see amazing landscapes here, you can see also, you can have uh, amazing tasty food so well it makes up for that if you ever come to my place to um, the south of Portugal I really like recommend you to go to the south of Portugal because normally tourists that come to Portugal think Lisbon for sure but there are a lot of very nice be uh, beaches in the, the place where I come from the, the south and the food there is I would say maybe the best of Portugal uh, and if you ever come to Portugal, come to the south. You will not. You will. You will have memories for the rest of your life.